The dog's dream. Yes, dog's dream. I'm not even going to say people believe the dog's dream. I'm just going to come out and say, yes, they dream. Because I've seen him dream. I've seen him. Ah, far enough. I've seen him lay there kicking his legs. I've seen him having a bad dreams. I've seen him <laughs> growl and bark and snap at things. It's far enough. Come on. Let's go back this way. I know it happens. So people believe that maybe 10, 20 minutes after they fall asleep is most common for it to happen. American Kennel Club believes that they have bad dreams that you should wake them up if they're having a bad dream. It's really difficult to tell if your dog's having a really bad dream and not just because he's barking that he's having a bad dream because he loves to bark. <laughs> he, loves to, he likes to growl sometimes. But you know, you, you know your dog's body language and if he's having a, a bad time or whimpering, he's not happy, you know that. I would be careful waking up a Doberman because there's been a few times that we've woke him up that he's not been very happy about it. <laughs> and, and, you know, maybe lash out toward us a little bit. Oh, he heard something down that way. So we don't want to encourage that. That's far enough. Hey, it's your line. You know. He knows he's property line now. He doesn't have his training collar on. So people can argue all they want to, but I think it comes down with the relationship that you have with your dog. I think that you know his emotions and how you communicate with him, and you know that that's a dream or it's not, or if he's just having some kind of muscle contractions, and I know better. I know his emotions and his reactions. And yeah, he, he has just like a little squeaky bark. He sounds like a little poodle when he's dreaming, and he's like, ruff, ruff, ruff. and then sometimes he'll, He's running in his sleep. And he wakes up all confused, like, what's going on? And I like to think that he's dreaming of this. That he's dreaming of, I want to get back there and do that again. I read where they say that when dogs do dream, and they have proof that they dream, that they are dreaming of their owner and past experiences, and it's, they usually have pleasurable dreams. It's not bad dreams, so. You look so pretty. Do I? You do. You're a pretty girl. Mm. Is she pretty? She's pretty. Here comes the internet hate. Ah, you got pretty. Yeah, she's ugly. <laughs> look Thanks, at you. Joe. You look like a woolly bugger. You're too fat for her, Joe. Or, or giving her the big ass. She ain't that pretty. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. You're welcome. Hello, internet. We love you. He's the pretty one right there. He's the pretty one. Come here. Come. Come on. I wanted to clear up a comment somebody made on a video. So early on when we got him, uh, he knocked her down, fractured her skull, and put her in the hospital. A little bit of brain damage. No kidding. So got a comment the other day, and the comment was that to the effect that uh, I was going to keep the dog no matter what she thought. And that, you know, I think the comment was like, honey, it's the dog or me. And like I said, time for you to go. I want to clear it up. Curse is my dog. <laughs> I'm on his papers as the owner. He's mine. And she would probably be too nice to say it, but if it come down between the dog and me, I think he gets to stay. I think there's no Hershey in there. <laughs> oh man, I'm under Hershey too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's up, big guy? 
Yeah, hi. How are you? What was that comment somebody said? What? <laughs> the, the, the really mean comment. Oh, that I'm just a, a ratchet uh, trash rat. <laughs> that nobody's watching the video for the horse. <laughs> I'm just the mousy, ugly skank. The best one. I loved it. I even saved it because that was the best hate. I mean, this person, this girl, she had like the anger and the heat of a thousand volcanoes. While I was working, I found, well, as people called in, that people had just abandoned a horse on top of a mountain. And, uh, our county really doesn't have the resources to rescue things like that and i told her and she's like nope we gotta go get it <laughs> we have to go rescue this horse and so we rescued him and she got him back to health and she did all the work and she really did this amazing work and so i wanted to do a, you know, a video and really show the world what she had done and it went viral oh and don't i have any other clothes i wear the same clothes in every video and it was the same day and when bones passed away he made me a video but when it does get hate it's me. I get, I get a lot of hate. <laughs> so back to what I was saying. After oh, I posted, and any, another th I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> after I posted the video, uh, thinking that you know, and, and most people did respond, you know, really kind, and that's all how loving and how wonderful thing that was. Some people just responded with hate. Yeah, and that was yeah, our really what we're doing. And that was our first real experience with YouTube commenters. <laughs> that we were like. What are you well, talking I'm about? Kidding. What in the world did I we do to you? Since I was two, and where he was, it wasn't our yard where we were taking care of him. Oh, and there was another horse that was rescued, and they're like, "Well, the horse that's there uh, ain't in good shape either." And this horse was on the four lane that our neighbors had went and rescued. I don't know. People are just mean. That's when we learned that uh, <laughs> YouTube commenters can be pretty darn mean but that that's but it's also when i learned i have thick skin i don't care i'm I glad you don't something. interrupt me ever i did something good <laughs> i'm never on youtube i usually try to stay out of it hi guys y'all been seeing a lot more of me lately so that's when we learned and then let me tell you one more thing I'm, all, I'm kidding. I don't know. So that's when we learned <laughs> that YouTube comment. Anyway, so where was it? Okay, that they can be mean, but that's when we also learned that the more that they comment, the better the video does because YouTube sees that as an interaction with the video and it bumps it up in the search rankings. So if you leave something in there for people to hate about every now and then, your video will do better. So, I mean, if that's a, a, an algorithm thing. So I, I, sometimes I just don't edit things out, you know. <laughs> Some, this is cold. Shivering. He's shivering. He's got the only one with a fur coat on. <laughs> he just wants to run. He shivers when it's a hot day because he, he gets I excited. I have more hair in my armpits than he has on his body. Show me. I don't, but... I know you don't. <laughs> I have to get naked. Show me. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> and he's like... Hey Coco, I love you so much. Yeah, I do. Hey Joey, I love you too. <laughs> love you.